image on a t-shirt may hold the key to solving a murder that happened more than 20 years ago. A man's body was found in March of 1992 near Sand Canyon Drive. This is east of Highway 338 south of Wellington. Investigators don't know who the victim is, but they say they know he was stabbed. Jennifer Burton spoke with a detective today who's been tracking this case. And, and Jen, what has he learned? What has he found out? Well, they're trying to crack this case, Kristen, and investigators now know what was on the T-shirt they say the victim was wearing. Now, they're asking everyone to take a look at it and share this new information so they can solve this murder. For years, investigators didn't know what the image was of the T-shirt. After recent research and discovery, we now have the, that image that was on our John Doe victim. State homicide detective Mike Marty is hoping this image will help solve a decades-old murder that had until recently gone cold. The breakthrough came when investigators turned to the Internet for help, specifically a website of amateur sleuths. WebSleuths.com um, helped us immensely in identifying and reconstructing the T-shirt that was on our victim. People offered suggestions like this until finally someone found an image that matched fragments of the victim's shirt. If there's one t-shirt, there's probably a hundred at least, and maybe somebody saw the t-shirt or knows where it was purchased back in the late 80s or early 90s. Detective Marty says the victim died of stab wounds sometime in 1991 or 92. Our victim in this case, we believe to be a white male between the ages of 35 and 50 between six feet and six feet three inches in height. Uh, we believe that he has brownish and red to brown hair. Officials hope someone recognizes this image and can provide some new leads. We're looking for the public's help in looking at this t-shirt and saying, I know that t-shirt, it was on my brother or my son or my father. People all over the world have offered suggestions on websleuths.com. Now detectives are hoping someone here might have the ultimate piece of the puzzle. We're looking for a needle and a stack of needles. We don't know exactly who the victim is, and we don't know exactly who the suspects are. So in order to do that, you know, we need some definitive answers. If you know anything that can help the investigation, call Detective Mike Marty. That number is 684-7439. Now, Secret Witness is offering a $2,500 reward for information leading to an arrest. Covering the story live in the newsroom, Jennifer Burton, Channel 2 News.